Hi, I'm Richard from Intellico Dishwashers and Glasswashers. I'm here today with Stephen Smart from the Mint Restaurant and Bar in Cope Bridge, Lanarkshire. Stephen, can you give us a bit of information about yourself and the restaurant, please? Yeah, obviously my name's Stephen. I'm currently the head chef here at the Mint. I've been here for five and a half years. Uh, Experience-wise, I've been in this trade since I was sort of 14, so you're talking 25 years experience. I uh, started off as a dishwasher and sort of worked my way through the ranks in various hotels, restaurants and sort of bars and stuff like that. So that's been, I've got a vast knowledge of sort of uh, the whole industry and I've sort of seen it from both ends where I sort of know from the, the bottom up how, how, how a kitchen runs and stuff like that. There are many pieces of equipment and lots of elements that have to come together in a professional kitchen for the front end of your restaurant to work properly. Um, in your experience, what part does the dishwasher play in all of that? It's a very vital element. It's one of the most important and key elements in the kitchen uh, due to the fact that if you have no clean dishes, then you can't obviously serve your food. If you have no clean utensils, pots and pans, then as well, it also helps to alleviate a lot of pressure off your kitchen porters and chefs and that as well when you can... Obviously years ago you were sort of manual hand washing, so you had to the EHO in it yeah, on your back with need a, a washing up sink, a, a rinsing sink and a cool sink and all that sort of jazz and it just it was a prolonged effort all day, it would probably increase your labour, increase your time that you're in the kitchen and stuff like that as well. So the old dishwasher side of it is, it's sort of up there with your, your cookers and your fryers and all that and your ovens and all that. Uh, and that's vital. Yeah, vital. Aye, it is. Okay. You've recently changed your dishwasher and table in the kitchen. What were your motivations for changing the dishwasher setup? The main one is because recently we have just had a massive up upturn in business. Uh, since we've had our refurb, we've sort of increased sales week by week every year. And uh, it was getting to the stage where we had, when they were bringing dishes in, they were sitting them on the pass where we were middle trying to serve food. So we'll, with a lack of sort of area for them to put the dirty dishes. So getting a new table in and a gantry system put in made such a difference. It's given them more more space to put stuff. I'm not saying that we still don't have the odd bit of dishes and all that on the pass, but it has took a lot of dishes off the pass, which means we can get the food out a lot quicker. Whereas before we would, we would have to wait and sort of can you clear that pass? We can't get any so we can get food out. So it's helped us speed up our, our sort of service and that as well. Right, okay. Mm. And the, for changing the actual machine itself, what was your motivations behind that? Due to the fact that the, the other one was, to, it was had, had its run. It was at the end of its tether. Uh, we were getting the stage near most of the time. We were having to sometimes do two runs in the dishwasher to get a one rack of plates through. Uh, it was constantly breaking down. So it was actually cost us more every month to sort of call out charges, parts, keep it going, keep it going, and then it was that's the upheaval of the kitchen when the boys are then having to lift out the area. There was a leg missing off it. It was like <laughs> it was it was pretty pretty crazy. Yeah, so you're trying to work round them while you're getting absolutely hammered at lunchtime. Then you your staff are in two B sinks trying to wash dishes. Then hopefully, I'll be fingers crossed, it's not going to break down again. You're panicking there every weekend, talking please let us get through this weekend with this dishwasher, please let us do that. And since we've had that new one in it, it's been a, an absolute godsend. Yeah, what a difference it's made to the plates, the, the sort of the system we're, we're doing. Teething problems at the start, as with anything, but it has made such a difference so far. Right, that's, that's good to hear. Uh, before you got it, what information did you gather and what research did you do before honing in the particular manufacturer and model? Well, then, Obviously the main one I spoke to yourself was yourself. I did look on the, the old sort of cater quick, your Nisbets, and I looked on the actual Hobart website to have a, have a wee look and see what sort of, mainly the price range. The, the, one of the main issues was it was it price, and that had put them off at the start, whereas I said at the end of the day, we need to spend the money. If we, we, we go small, then we're, oh, we're going to get small returns back. We had to go big, we had to go for a better dishwasher that was going to save us money in the long run. And when I sort of looked it all through, the Hobart was the sort of the best, the best option uh, that that we were sort of for for our kitchen anyway. Uh, mm -hmm. We could have got away, could we have got away with cheaper options, probably. But maybe two years down the line, probably fixing it a lot more. Whereas when you look at the research on the Hobarts, 
very rarely have you, you fixed them within the sort of first two years and then even after that, so we're looking at a sort of five year before anything majorly goes wrong with that, mm -hmm. which would then save us money. I think we, we worked out, we were paying, I think it worked out on average, when you based over the year, it was like three, four hundred pound a month we've been spending fixing that dishwasher, we're getting yourselves out, getting parts and that done. So realistically, the, the money we were spending on getting it fixed is paid for the new one. Right. So right. you're hoping right. after the two years then we'll have a couple of years where we there's, won't there's nothing. we won't have any sort of uh, <laughs> payments for it. So I can get a wee bit of alleviate with some pressure. But it brings me on to another point, were you aware of all the different of ways that were available for payments that different um, I, I knew obviously there's, there's different options I mean, in this day and age, especially when you people are buying cars and they're, they're, they're buying couches and all that. So you know there's sort of payment options there, whether or not it be extensive APRs, where it's buy now, pay later, or it's interest free. So I wasn't I, I wasn't sure if they did that regard catering equipment, but I know it's a sort of popular choice regarding it's like when you go buy a car, you can buy it, pay it up and you own the car, you can do the PCP, you can pay it off or whatever, whereas the dishwashing side, I was always just, you get an account or you have to pay it up and then not they add the interest on it. And that sort of was above sort of my pay grade, but I did sort of look to see what sort of options are available. I know you can do the, the leasing side of it, but to be honest, I wasn't really sure how the lease to buy works and stuff like that with, with care and equipment. And is it worthwhile? Does it cost you a lot more than that right, as, okay. as you go on and stuff like that? So, Right, right, okay. Um, when, once you'd made a decision, what expectations did you have with regards to removal of the old setup and installation of the new system? I think expectations, I was just hoping that we weren't going to find any problems. I mean, we've got a, it's a sort of, it's a weird setup we've had in there. I think the people that put the kitchen in were, were sort of, as I like to call them, John Wayne's cowboys that sort of put stuff in and I was just panicking that when you were coming in to do it. I thought, please let us not find any problems. Let us sort of uh, just tr trouble free. And to be honest, we, we did have that. And the good thing with yourselves was you were very sort of open to sort of suggestion where you worked around us rather than us having to sort of work around you. Where a lot of other companies said, no, this, this is the time we can do. You can't do it tough. Whereas you just come in at night over here, helping rip things out. Then you then first thing in the morning, boys were. You're on in the morning at seven o'clock, but he's here at seven o'clock and had us ready for service, whereas I was panicking that we probably might have missed out in the, the sort of lunch service, but we were good good to go and it was great from start to finish and it was such a, a relief not to have any encountered any major problems. I don't think we had any problems at all really. I, I think we looked when we were looking at it, we'd done enough homework between you and yeah. I to try and foresee any difficulties, like with the plumbing, the electricity. All of these kind of things we looked at it and the legs that were actually under the floor yeah. all these kind of things we so we we've done our homework together so i think that maybe it did, did help a lot yeah and the thing is we was doing a lot of it in the monday night it sort of alleviated some time for the morning so it was more or less just getting it installed in the morning which was good yeah mm -hmm. uh, and as i said that helped us because we didn't have to close we didn't have to sort of turn people away because we are a sort of bums on seat sort of business we we, we rely on the footfall in here uh, but not like fine dining, wearing bums on seats and just get them in as quick as you can and turn them over and yeah. it, what a difference it's made uh, the oh. additions and all that as well. So it's been That's good, that's good. That just kind of brings me on to the next point then. Uh, now that you've got the system in place and you've had it in a few weeks, do you feel it's made a big difference then? I do. Uh, I think you, you're always going to have the KPs. I mean, when we had the, the guy from Hobart, he was telling us, oh, you don't need to do this and you don't need to do that. But I find we still have to sort of make sure the dishes are sprayed and make sure there's a, most of the debris off it and get them put in. Whereas before, you would have to spray them, put it in the dishwasher, pulling it down, then you lift it up, and you probably have to put it back down again to get most of the stuff off it. You were having to change your water in the dishwasher on a busy Saturday, up to six, seven times a day. As yeah, much as that? Emptying the machine, yeah. Right. And what it ended up, a case we had to do, we were having pots of boiling water on the stove. So with that done, then we're like, right, empty dishwasher, we would empty it, spray it out quickly, put the thing in, then we would carry over pots of boiling water, pulling it into the dishwasher, yeah. pulling it down, for it just to get it up and running again. Whereas we don't have to do that. The, I would maybe say that the only negative with that is it does take a wee bit longer to, to come up to speed, but where it combats it is it's 
quicker washes, it's cleaner dishes, we don't have to do two cycles yeah. per, per tray. We can actually do two trays at one time on the one cycle and it comes out just as good. So it has saved us time. Uh, again, it will be one of the ones that's, it well, it's not a couple of weeks teething problems, it'll be a system in place for six months to a year before we fully get any of our own way of working. I mean, they had eight, nine years of I working with that, that one, system, yep. so it does take a bit, it is, people don't like change. Yep. So sometimes, regardless if it's for the better. Yeah, yeah. Uh, again, that's that brings me nicely on to the next one. Is what plans do you have going forward to get the very best out of the new setup and to sweat that set? Would it be training or...? Yeah, I, th I think once I get Christmas out of the road, then as I said, we've not really got much time, but I maybe get the guy back out and the machine is quite self-explanatory and once you get to grips with, with a new bit of equipment, it becomes alien to start off with. You just like, oh my God, this, people are scared to touch it. There was one day nobody could get it to fill back up. So I was out here two, twice in my days off to help them get it all back and got it first time just because people are too scared and like, oh, watching it in case they break something. So you need that wee bit of time just to sort of get to know the machine and then make sure you get it working for you the best way you can. Uh, I find that once they're, if they're organised, it's all about the organisation in the kitchen as well. You can have the best machine in the world, but if you're not organised, yeah. it's not going to make any difference. Systems and processes. Right. So what I'll probably do after Christmas is sort of get like a like a sort of set up plan. This is your sort of time range in the morning. So from the hours of, when you start at night from nine till 10, you should have X, Y, Z done from 10 to this. So then when it gets to half past eleven before we start service, yeah, that's when you should be down, downsizing your machine, cleaning it out, making sure it's clean properly, filling back up and you can go and do other jobs. And then by the time you've done your other jobs, your machine's good to go for the whole lunch side. Yeah. Whereas before what you'd find is we were, everyone was going through the dishwasher, it was getting cleaned out and then you were cleaning it again maybe half past one and then you are cleaning it again for you finishing for the ones you finished at three and then we're going through it again then clean it again out at five and then maybe clean it out again at seven just for the last hour whereas before we're cleaning it in the morning after lunch and then that's us for the go at the weekend we do it a wee extra time so that we've got a cleaner water system for it but it's night and day better right yeah that's that's great to hear that's great to hear um just finally where would you say that, in, in your experience, where would you see that the dishwasher system and kitchen porters, what role do they play in the end game of having satisfied customers in the restaurant? Well, the thing is, when you when you look at it, it's all about the hygiene side of it. Now, when you look back years ago, in my opinion, you were sort of 90% food based, but 10 and 10% paperwork and hygiene, I, I would say it's probably 50-50, if more so, it's more hygiene based and more sort of cleanliness and all that now because everybody can access your details online to check how, how your rating is and how good your kitchen is, so your kitchen porters, they have a massive role, as I say, it's the worst job in the world and it is the worst job in the world. One that you've done. One that I've done. I've one done that, it myself as one well. That I've, I'm, not, I'm still not scared to get in there and roll up my, my hands and batter in, I'm a big believer that we all work as a team, if somebody's struggling, you jump in and help them. But when you've got that thankless job, and it is a thankless job and it's a hard wearing job, so you want to try and make it as easy for them as possible. So when you've got a good dishwasher in place where you know that they're not going to, they're like, getting the dishes through, they can go and do other jobs while that's on its cycle. It might only be a minute, but that minute can then, you know, you've got a minute to go and do something else that you want to then come back and check for wee dirty bits on plates. You can just pull that through, put the next one in, and go keep going away and keep that system in, in place. And it's, it does help them, helps the customers as well, because as I said, there is nothing worse than somebody come out and they get a plate there, nice bit of food, and they touch the bottom of the plate, and it's got all the grit. And when sometimes the previous dishwasher, it was sort of, it felt as if it was like a like sand on the bottom of the plate, whereas we've not got that. It's just smooth dishes, they're clean, they come out nice and warm, put them straight into the in the hot cupboard, so people have got hot, clean plates, and it's definitely improved. And it means that because the dishwasher has been like having an extra body, we can get more stuff done. So they can go and do that wee bit extra cleaning. They can go and do that wee bit extra prep for us, which has sort of helped us out as well. Yeah. And I said that finishes them up eight quicker at night as well, where they're not lagging on, lagging on, having to do two minute cycles, three minute cycles to get stuff off. It's it's the seventy second cycle all the time. They more or less do, and it works when it gets to 
other days when it's heavier stuff they're putting through they do change the cycle but if I have sort of said to them listen I would prefer you keep the pots in the sink as much as possible I don't mind maybe in the morning but during service put the pots in the trays and it helps speed up the plate, the plate side of it mm-hmm. yeah, they've got their stacking system in place and it always does look like a riot but we've got people kind of playing all day, riot. <laughs> all, aye, it's all day every day it's from uh-huh. 9 o'clock in the morning there's never that it's never clear it's just constant so it has sort of boosted their morale a wee bit having a new dishwasher because it was hard going on them mm-hmm. when they were sort of working with the old one and there's, so that cuts down in the waiting times at the yeah I said the front end. if you've not got clean plates we can't see we can't see our food yeah. and as I said the, the EHO is constantly on your back nowadays regarding making sure everything so before if you're, you're putting stuff through I remember one, one time I, I it was a bad day and I just started back and We'd been putting stuff through the dishwasher, it hadn't been done right, and all the stuff I could, stuff was coming out greasy. And she came in, and she's like, Oh, this is greasy, and she was totally ripping me shreds for it. So, with this, I've got it all in place now that it should never, it shouldn't happen. I'm not saying there won't be tubs that are wet, that's fine, but there is no grease on them, there is no extra bits of dirty soil on them, it's just it's all coming out clean. And if it is the odd one, there is certain ones like you say, Lasagna dishes, your natural dishes, I've got cremated bits of cheese on it. They're n- nothing's ever going to take them off first time. You need to use a wee bit of wear and tear get my wee cleaned down and then put them through but the dishes come through spotless and it has made even the owner has sort of commented what a difference in the plates and that's what we've always that's what we've always wanted mm-hmm. and long may it continue uh, exactly you've got us anyway if you need uh, us exactly right. uh, well that kind of concludes things Stephen uh, no thank problem. you very much that's great is there anything else you want to add or that? nothing at all as I said I gave you the review on Google and I can't fault the sort of service we got uh, thank you for that by the way uh, from start to finish the, 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 the work that was happening, the boys that came in, the boys were great. Yeah, I even fed them, I saw, gave them a wee meal on, uh, on me when they when they had finished and stuff like that. So oh, that's cool. They helped them out and stuff like that because they worked hard and they never stopped and so it was good. Uh, thanks for that. Brilliant. Brilliant, I appreciate that. No problem. Thanks very much. Yep. Cheers. That's great. <laughs>